Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Batman Ninja. Uh, like I said, I saw the trailer for this uh, a while back, and I wanted to see this. You know, different. You know, I'm a big fan of Batman, of course, so I definitely wanted to see a different take on this one. And basically, the story of Batman Ninja is that Gorilla Grodd, Gr Gorilla Grodd, excuse me, <laughs> say his name right. Uh, basically, he creates this time displacement machine that basically transports uh, Batman's worst enemies, you know, Joker. Penguin, uh, Catwoman, the Two Face, uh, Poison Ivy, and Deathstroke. It transports them back to feudal Japan, uh, where they basically, you know, they take over back there. And Batman, of course, he gets transported back there, and he has to um, try to stop them and restore the land to the way it was before. Of course, stop them, and then, of course, try to get get everybody back. And uh, and Batman has a few of his allies. Uh, on his team that get transported back with him. You have uh, Robin, of course, uh, Red Hood, Red Rob well, not Robin, Nightwing, I guess. Uh, you have uh, Red Hood, uh, Red Robin, uh, uh, and of course, you know, uh, uh, not Tim Drake, Robin, uh, Damian Wayne Robin. That's what, I, that's what I was talking about. Okay, and uh, again, visually, this movie is, is very interesting. I like the style. And, and most of the thing, but this movie, uh, while it was okay, and you do get the, I think they do do a good job with the, uh, with the Joker in this, Joker and Harley Quinn, but it's like more of the same old, same old, just in a different setting, and I did like uh, some of the scenarios, but this movie, again, you didn't get that much uh, into depth with the villains that are in this, like, like Two Face, uh, Two Face, what's it? Poison Ivy, uh, uh, that's not the term. Deathstroke, uh, the Penguin. Uh, you don't really get that much interaction with them. I mean, you get a little bit. Apparently, when by the time Batman gets transported back into time, they've been there over two years, and the, the Joker's like ruling everything, and all the different other villains like Two Face and. And uh, the Penguin and stuff, they have their own little, carved out their own little sections. And they're all supposed to be, you know, with the Joker running everything. And it's just, this one didn't really, you know, like I said, visually, it was, it, that's the only thing that kept me interested in it. The visual, because the story, yeah, it's basically the same. Batman trying to stop these villains. And, and, and you know, basically Batman's going to win it. Okay, I, again, visually, I, I thought the movie is beautiful. Uh, some of the animation, I think, in this uh, was beautiful and stuff, but the story is more the same old, same old, basically, with them. You know, I, I give them credit for switching, you know, having them go back into time. And the Gorilla God part, I have to admit, was was a nice touch. Gorilla God, you know, introducing him into because I don't think he's primarily a Batman villain. I think uh, Gorilla God. I'm sorry, Gorilla God. I think is mostly a uh, uh, a Flash villain. So. Introducing him into this mix, I thought it was was a nice touch, but again, it's more of the same old, same old. <laughs> Basically, you know, you have Catwoman playing, you know, sometimes being Batman ally, sometimes you don't know if she's on his side or not. Crazy, and again, the villains didn't get that much to do. I mean, you have them; they have their little moments, but you don't, you don't actually spend that much time with them. Like, like I said, Two Face, Penguin, Poison Ivy, and Deathstroke. You don't really spend that, you know, they only have brief, like, cameos, basically, in this movie, so you don't really, it's mostly the Joker and Batman, which is always a good relationship, but it's more of this, you know, it's more of the same, it's the same old, same old, you know, Joker's crazy, wants to kill Batman, okay, he recruits these different things, the only, like I said, there's only a few good things that I like about this movie, like, you know, the Batman had his allies with him, you know, like I said, Robin, you know, Nightwing and Red Hood and, and, uh, Damian, you know, is Robin, and, and but it's more of the same old, same old Batman stopping the villains and stuff. And well, visually, I, I, I didn't like the animation style. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And but it's you know it's more of the same old, same old. Okay, uh, it just didn't wow me. I guess is what I'm trying to say without saying it. <laughs> you know, it's it was a nice, okay, okay. You know, you got to see the different animation styles, which that was good too. I like that part about it, but. It's, you know, it's basically the same story, you know, same Batman story. You can write this story in your sleep, basically. Uh, okay, villains, uh, 
want to plot take on the world, Batman has to stop him. Okay, and he teams up with his allies. Okay, sometimes with his frenemy, you know, Catwoman lover. So, uh, and you even have Alfred here. You have, you know, again, the, the Robins and stuff. And it's the only difference is that they, you know, they did change it to a, you know, a feudal Japan setting, which was, you know, good for visual, but it's the same old, same old, basically, with this. And it really just didn't, didn't wow me. Again, it was an okay movie, but it's not something that I, I would say it was one of the best uh, DC animated movies. It's an okay movie, but it's more of the same old, same old. Okay? And I think the act, the voice actors, I, I guess there was a lot of, you know, since uh, Warner Brothers Japan did this, you know, a lot of Japanese actors. I think the actors were okay with the voices. I like the guy who voiced uh, Gorilla Grodd. I thought he did a really good job with that. And the guy who did the Joker, I thought he did a really good job as a Joker. And uh, But it's more of the same old, same old. Batman trying to stop these villains. Okay, with his allies, and you know he's gonna win. So I mean, it's uh, so that's why I like the, the other movie that came out, the one with him, uh, with Jack the Ripper thing. That because it was more it was more contemporary. It was like Bruce Wayne back in that time, instead of Bruce Wayne getting transported back, which I thought this was gonna. I don't know why I thought I thought this story is gonna good. Well, I guess again, it's Japan, so you wouldn't have Bruce Wayne in Japan. <laughs> so, but it was basically him being transported, him and the villains. And his allies all being transported back into time, you know, and and, and them trying to basically, you know, stop the villains and and return feudal Japan to the way it was, and then get back in the time displacement machine and transport everybody back. Okay, that's just that's the story. Okay, and, and it was okay. It just wasn't didn't wow me. It's just you know it's the same story that you've seen a thousand times. Okay. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of Batman and Ninja. I would give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a six point, six point eight, and that's mostly because of the animation style. I like the animation style. I thought that was really good. Okay, but it's the same story, and I think the Joker character was, you know, was a Joker. It was a truly, you know, but it's, like I said, it's the same thing you've seen all the time. So it's not anything different. And I did, I, I did love the animation styles and stuff, and the. And the way they had Batman had his own allies back in feudal Japan, I thought that was good, too. But the story's same old, same old. And the villains, like I said, the only villain that didn't get short shrift was Joker, okay? And even all the other villains got short shrift. And Gorilla Grodd was in it uh, a little bit more. I think he got a decent amount of time. But like Deathstroke, Penguin, Two-Face, even Bane was in short for a minute, <laughs> okay? And Poison Ivy, they all got short shrift. You didn't really get to know their motivations, uh, how they act independently, which I thought was a really, especially with these great villains, I, I thought that was a mistake. But, okay, again, 6.8 for me. Okay, just because of the visual style like that, there were certain things I did like about it, but it just, it didn't wow me. The story, uh, So I'm looking forward to the next DC animated movie, which is going to be, I think, Superman, The Death of Superman, which this time they're going to add the Justice League into it, which I think will make it a little bit better. Okay, from what I've seen from the trailers. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Batman Ninja. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Let me know what you think of it. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my other channel, uh, uh, Paul's Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.